Good evening. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Rick Garcia. Shocking news to wake up to. NBC fired longtime Today Show anchor Matt Lauer for alleged sexual misconduct. And then hours after the announcement, at least two more women came forward with detailed accounts. And CBS 2's Amy Johnson is live in West L.A. with the explosive new details from Variety magazine. Amy. Well, Pat, that accuser that went forward to NBC says that the inappropriate behavior began in 2014 while they were covering the Sochi Olympics, and she says that the poor behavior continued on for several months. Now, while she is the only one who went forward to the network, two articles were being written at the same time, one by Variety that included three additional women. Our colleague Matt Lauer has been terminated by this network. The announcement came first thing this morning on the Today Show. Matt Lauer was out, fired after being accused by a colleague of sexual misconduct. But hours later, Variety magazine would reveal there were more accusers. Right now we've got three women who talked to us off the record who were telling us their story about their experiences. But I think what we've seen in these other cases is, you know, you never know what's going to happen once the story comes out. Variety magazine has been working on the story for two months. We've got lots of different kinds of stories and it really just comes to his behavior in and around women in the office. The article goes on to explain that he gave a colleague a sex toy as a present. It included an explicit note about how he wanted to use it on her. It also says that he'd been known for making lewd comments verbally or over text messages and that he paid intense attention to a young woman on his staff that he found attractive, focusing intently on her career ambitions. And he asked the same producer to his hotel room to deliver him a pillow. I think the thing that's really resonating is that he had this lock on his desk that enabled him to lock his door without getting up from behind his desk. And I think that created an environment where women felt unsafe to be in his presence. NBC said in a statement that this was the first sexual misconduct allegations against Lauer in his 20 years at the Today Show. I can't speak to what NBC knew and didn't know. All I know is what our reporting says and what our reporting tells us is that these people have made complaints about Matt Lauer's behavior before. But obviously, NBC acted swiftly when the news broke Monday night. Within 48 hours, Matt had lost his job. We're in an environment where people move very quickly and there's a lot of public pressure to move quickly based on allegations. Jonathan Handel is an entertainment attorney and says the swift action may also be based on Lauer's power at the Today Show. If a supervisor commits uh, sexual harassment, the employer is liable. Now, Matt Lauer has not commented on those accusations. His reported $25 million a year contract was set to end in 2018. No word right now on whether or not he is continuing to be paid. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right. Thank you, Amy.